Hey guys, this is Martin again from Search Electronics, and this is part two on how to set up your LM3R with Luminaire. Uh, so once you've already followed all the instructions in the first video on setting up your network settings and all that, um, the next thing to do is connect the rest of your equipment and then configure your iPad. Uh, let's start off with uh, setting up the rest of your equipment. So, so once you've already had your LM3R uh, set up, you're going to disconnect it from the computer with the uh, network cable and then you're going to connect that network cable to your Wi-Fi router that you plan on using. You're going to connect it to one of the ports here on the back and make sure your Wi-Fi router is on. Uh, at this point, you should have already configured your router according to the manufacturer's instructions and set your name and all that stuff, uh, which is pretty basic. I'm sure a lot of you have done before. Uh, so once you've connected your, your LM3R with the Wi-Fi router, the next thing you want to do is connect your DMX line. Uh, you might already have your DMX line addressed and set up and everything's ready to go. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is bring your DMX line into your LM3R to the DMX uh, output port here in the back. Uh, in this case, we're using a 3-pin XLR, and if you notice, the LM3, it's actually a 5-pin. So we're going to use this 3 to 5-pin adapter here uh, to get them to work together. So the adapter goes into place, and then it goes here on the LM3, and it connects. So now you actually have um, your whole thing uh, connected physically. Next thing you got to do is do the programming on the iPad. So like I said, you have to have your... So I mean, your... Um, router set up and everything ready to go, already named. In this case, I named it uh, Luminar. So you want to go in your iPad, okay? And then you want to go to your settings. And then once you're on your settings, you want to go to your Wi-Fi and make sure you connect to the to the router that you're going to be using, okay? Uh, in this case, I already have it connected. I named my router Luminar just to make it clear as day. And make sure you're connected. Everything's good there. Next thing you want to do, after you've downloaded the Luminar app, you want to go ahead and open up the app, okay? Uh, if you haven't opened up the app already, uh, it's going to show like this, like uh, like it's it's brand new, doesn't have any projects set up or anything. So you just click plus, and it opens up a project, you click on it, and there you go. You're actually on a brand new project, there's nothing patched, there's nothing on there yet. So then you go to the little bubble here on the corner, and if it's green, it means you got Wi-Fi connection, okay? Uh, what you want to make sure, though, is that your RNet is enabled, and it's green like this, and then your node, uh, it's probably going to show unicast, but you want to make sure that's turned off, just how it is here, and that'll actually turn into broadcast. That means that it's going to be broadcasting uh, to the whole network, so it doesn't get lost or anything like that. Um, the next thing you want to make sure is your subnet is at zero, and your input universe is, is at one, output universe is zero. Uh, that's the settings that you actually have already programmed on your LM3. So once you have all these settings, just like you have here, what you could do, depending on the type of fixture you have, for example, here I have an RGBW uh, LED strip connected to one of our LED Con 2, actually LED Con 4 uh, DMX LED drivers. So to make it simple, you could add a simple fader, and we're gonna add we're gonna add four, ones for each, okay? And then these simple faders, uh, you know, you could just uh, move them up and down and that will actually uh, light up the actual strip, okay? So if you see here, it's already working as it should, okay? And you have full wireless uh, Wi-Fi control over your DMX lighting, which is very cool, very convenient thing to do. And then here on the Luminar app, you could create all sorts of presets. You could name all your stuff. It even has a blackout button. So for example, you know, if you have uh, one channel up, you put blackout, it'll actually turn your lights off and everything. So, you know, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I hope you guys found these videos uh, useful. And if you, have a, if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything like that, uh, drop us a comment there in the comment box. Also, don't forget to subscribe and check out our website at series.she.com. Thanks for watching.